years of fraternity, and all as we go sail, we know go maroon no, in our rugged moving vessel. Hi guys, welcome back to Loro Emi TV. A few months ago, we created a content on the five most dangerous cult groups in Nigeria, and most of you loved it. So we coming up with a backup video this time. We will be revealing the ten secrets of these different cult groups you obviously don't know. Stay tuned as we unravel the ten shocking secrets of the Bokanias Confraternity of Nigeria otherwise known as the national association of sea lords but before we begin if you're new to our channel you're highly welcome to laurel emmy tv and please do also hit on that subscribe button also turn on the notification bell so you can always stay updated and notified whenever we post a new video we post very interesting content every day without further ado let's jump right into the video <laughs> The Bokanias Association of Nigeria or the National Association of Sea Lords got their name from the late 17th century West Indies sea pirates known as Bokanias. The Bokanias were a specific kind of dangerous and adventurous pirates who attacked and robbed Spanish ships sailing through the Pacific coast of the West Indies in the 17th century. And when Bolaji crew and group of friends were expelled, from the Pirates Confraternity or Sea Dogs, they decided to adopt this name for their group. And that was how this confraternity got the name the Bokanias Confraternity or the National Association of Sea Lords. <laughs> Bokanias Association of Nigeria was formed in 1972 by a former member of the Pirate Confraternity or Sidor Confraternity. Bokania Confraternity was established by Bolaji Crew, who was codenamed Ahoy Rika Ricardo after he was expelled from the Pirate Confraternity for not following the teachings and rules of the pirates. Bolaji crew and some members of the Sea Dogs confraternity, after their expulsion from the Sea Dogs, formed the Bokanias Association of Nigeria in 1972 in the then University College Ibadan, which was later renamed University of Ibadan. Due to an inner puzzle and disagreement with the leadership of the Sea Dogs confraternity, it is believed that this was as a result of them not meeting up to the high academic standard and requirements set by the CEDOS confraternity for its members. Bolaji Crew died in 2015 at the age of 67. He was a retired professor at the time of his death. Their official chant is Alora Sea Lords, which is often abbreviated as ASL, and the court's group orientation is to sail on board ship on the high sea. Hence, they are the silver claimed sailors. They call themselves sailors and sea lords, and they call their final destination the Treasure Island, which is the name they call their meeting and initiation ground. The Sea Lord symbol is a skull flanked on both sides by two machets and a single bone. Their members call themselves Alora, Fine Boys, Lords, and Bucket Men. They use the slangs No Price, No Pay, Blood for Blood no laughing on board, no brothers in the wood, and so on. Their number code is 101, which is represented by the two horns on their logo and they reference it to the Bible passage, Psalm 101 verse 8, which reads, Every morning, 
I will put to silence all the wicked in the land. I will cut off every evildoer from the city of the Lord. And 231, which is a numeric representation of the alphabet BCN, which represents Bukanias Association of Nigeria, and they reference it to the Bible verse, Psalm 23, verse 1, which reads, which reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yes, they also make use of the Bible and they always advise their members to read the book of Psalm 21 and Psalm 101 verse 8, although they twist the Bible verse to best suit their beliefs and practices. They celebrate their official anniversary annually and they call it Shippil or Yanga Sali, in which members converge to Sali or celebrate in their official color and regalia, which is yellow. Their official color is yellow, which is evident from one of their guidelines and quotes, which states, As long as the rays of the sun is yellow, we shall always be victorious. They wear yellow berets, yellow ribbon, yellow tie, yellow socks alongside the official regalia of white t-shirts, black trousers, waistcoats and black suit jackets which are mostly worn during ceremonial events. They call their official and traditional drink rum which is represented by Lord's Dry Gin, which was picked as the official drink of the Bokanias Association of Nigeria due to the coincidental relation of the drink's name to their group name. The anchor is very symbolic to the group and this is evident in members always wearing anchor patterns and designs and they are always having the anchor design in every of their things. The Bukanias Association of Nigeria has over 300 branches worldwide both in Nigeria and in every part of the world. We would like to end this video with say no to courtism because courtism kills.